Hello my dear students, welcome to our program for chemistry third secondary stage. Chemistry is very important for our life. Chemistry is a very nice thing to study. Catch this word now, chemistry, that we need to start work. I think you are ready now. What about to go? Let's go. Chapter 4 Electrochemistry. It's great and easy. Try to concentrate for this interesting chapter. It's beginning with this. With the meaning of electrochemistry. What's meant by electrochemistry? It is what? It is a branch of science that care studying the changing conversation between the chemical energy and the electric energy. Conversion to chemical to electrical, it's easy to say that, through oxidation and reduction. So, all of this chapter depend on this word, oxidation and reduction. Now, look at this. Oxidation is lose of electrons. It's good. Reduction means is gaining of electrons. Now, the important comparison between oxidation and reduction, losing and gaining. Important chapter. Oxidation and reduction not stopped for the chemistry only, but in different part in our life, from the human, devices, materials, substances. Now, for example, we're beginning for the human. To know that, look at these materials. So the materials here, it represents what represents some equipments to what to to increase the losing or represent the losing and gaining electrons here inside our bodies. We have a charge. We have positive and negative charges here in our bodies that has loses and gaining electrons. So here, these materials it represent represent electrochemistry. <coughs> which depending on oxidation and reduction, these particles, these ions move through our nervous system as you see. This motion is important, neutrite process. It means growth cones, all of them depending on oxidation and reduction. What else for this? Here we have some charges that move inside what? Inside the Tepulene inside this neuron here to what to make message between the nervous system and what and all parts of our bodies so here the neuron here and we have growing and we have many things like this to make what to make growing it contains the charges here or electrochemistry is one of these parts. The motion of the cell for this case is important to tell me what happened inside the human. The electrochemistry for the human depending on the motion of ions as you see. So this ions may be positive, may be negative. It means losing or gaining. This it means you have... We have equilibrium or constant between what? Between them. We have equilibrium between this or balance between these positive charges and negative charges. Directly oxidation and reduction. My lover, this not all for the human. Here we have the ions. We have here the charges. We have positive charge and negative charge here. We have mercury and we have another one GTP. It makes what? It makes the like batteries or like electricity inside our nervous system. Why? Because this one, it's positive charges and negative charges to move signals or electric signals from what? From our brain to all parts of the body. Through what? Through the neuron. Through what? Through nerves. So here, this is the process. What about this one? This is means you are a battery. Do you agree you are a battery? Yes. A human is a big battery because the reaction inside the human depending on before and after adding, for example, mercury. So it's changed back to oxidation and reduction. 
the battery for the human is important. Where, where is our battery you find? Here we have the battery, it's in our brain and nervous system. It's good and extend through all the body which give different impulses and the different particles give electrochemistry. So here we have a spontaneous redox reaction can be expressed by the following reaction. We have many reactions that mix this. This is one of them. We have Zn plus Cu plus 2. It means ion of copper that found inside a solution. It is aqueous solution. For example, copper sulfate. Give us what? Give us Zn positive 2 plus Cu. It's what? It is the solid precipitate. What will happen here in this reaction? This reaction back to the spontaneous, it means you have oxidation. Zn will lose to the electrons. It means make oxidation. Also, in the same time, Cu positive will be Cu only. Reduction, oxidation and reduction, it means you have spontaneous redox. Reaction is not a stop. Fly to this one. We have what is the oil rig? It is what? It is the type of letters to make what? To make each one of this letter, it's what represent the redox reaction. Oil, it means oxidation is losing electrons. And we have rig, it means what? It means the reduction. It's or is the gaining electron. So here we have the oxidation and the reduction or redox reaction they are both or they occur in the same time now look at this oil is oxidation is losing electrons zn lose to electrons zn zero directly it means zn positive two why because we say lose to electron this is oxidation after that the zinc atom loses to electrons and the converts into zinc ion at cathode. What's meant by cathode here? Cathode directly, it means this is a negative one, negative pole. Also, you have red is reduction. It means again electron. Cu positive two. It means gain to electron two. Cu zero positive two plus electrons we say we can say we can say the copper ion gains two electron and charge it into copper atoms at anode what's meant by anode positive directly we say positive pool now the difference between cathode and anode copper and lead or zinc it means oxidation and reduction now we have a little little one of these exercises does each half equation show the oxidation or reduction which one is oxidation which one is reduction we have the first one 2cl negative it give us cl2 plus two electrons it means what oxidation or reduction here here we have the oxidation why because here we have two electrons that lose these two electrons by what by 2cl negative what about the second one Aluminium here, directly it gains electrons. So, what is the type of this reaction? We say reduction. Why we say that? Because it means you gain three electrons. Good and great. Take the other equation. Here we have two. O negative two. We have O2 plus four electrons. They are similar to the equation here. So, we put it inside what? Inside the equation table. So here the oxidation. Why? Because here four electrons that lost to by 2 O negative 2. And we have another one. Copper. Copper here, I think it's look like aluminium. Aluminium it means reduction. So we'll try to put in same place because you gain two electrons. No, it's lost. So it's reduction. What about the other one? Other one we have Zn plus 2 plus two electrons that give us Zn. It is like the first one before we have here, it is reduction. What's about the magnesium? Magnesium, I think, look like aluminum and copper, zinc, and so on. So we'll try to say it's a reduction. Good and great. Look, my lover, oxidation, you have oxidation, oxidizing agent, reduction, reducing agent. 
Oh, there's the other question. Now, look at the reaction and they try to find the answer. So the answer here, which one is oxidized, the copper oxide or carbon? So here, the copper oxide, it's what? It is an oxide that change it here to what? To the copper. But here we have the carbon change into copper dioxide or carbon dioxide. Which one is oxidized here? Try to make this carbon. Why? Because the carbon here, it's add some kind or some amount of oxygen in the copper dioxide. But we have the copper oxide change to copper. What will happen here? Copper oxide here lose directly oxygen. When it lose oxygen, will fly to reducing agent. Copper oxide reduced. It's good to differentiate between them by losing also oxygen or gaining oxygen. So we have another comparison between oxidation and reduction depending on oxygen. Do you agree? Yes. Do it now. Here we have what we have. This is oxidation and reduction between what? Between these two compounds here. We have the losing here of, of what? Of the electrons and between what? Between the copper oxide we have gaining electron to change it into copper atom and we have the carbon that's lose electron to change it into copper dioxide this is back to the different types of the cells converted to chemical energy to electrical energy after oxidation and reduction sure we have as a cells tell me that this is happening through redox reaction that are what that are galvanic cell. This is the type of cell that represent the electrochemistry here. The electric energy changed by chemical energy. Number one is galvanic cell. And number two, we have electrolyte cells. It's a good. Now, you have a big difference? Sure. The first one, galvanic cell. What do you know about galvanic cell? Galvanic cell, it is an electric cell from which we can obtain the electric current as a result of spontaneous oxidation reduction reaction or redox reaction. So it is an example of Daniel cell. Good, Daniel cell. It means depending on also spontaneous reaction of oxidation and reduction. Look this and answer with me. My lover, this is the shape of Daniel cell, which contain two halves, which are joined together by bleach, but not this right. What about to see this video? Here we have the first half of the galvanic cell. That contains what? That contains copper sulfate here. And we have another one here or another part after making reaction of this reaction between zinc and copper sulfate. What will happen? What is the difference between them? We have zinc that react with copper sulfate in aqua solution, give us zinc positive to aqua solution and the copper solid. So here we have the type of this reaction. It's what? It is the galvanic cell. This reaction depending on transferring of the electron between the two halves. I want to know how can the electron transfer from zinc to copper or from copper to zinc. This is means you have zinc sulfate, which decomposed into zinc positive and SO4 negative. We have a bridge, salt bridge between them. It means sodium sulfate. When it's inserted in the other copper sulfate, also decomposed to copper and sulfate. Now, what about the reading that we see above the lamp? Here the lamp it makes what? It makes 1.1 volt. So we have electric energy that produced from this cell. That electric energy that concentrated or what all produced from the chemical reaction. So here the ions or of zinc positive two, it moves inside the liquid through the bridge to form what or to reach the copper plate. So here the copper plate is positive pool and the zinc plate it's what it is the negative pool. So here the zinc is anode and the copper is cathode. Each one of them, it has reaction. What are the reactions here? Oxidation and reduction. Oxidation from the zinc will, it means, lose two electrons. In this aqueous solution, the electron transfer from the negative to the positive. The other half, it has copper, which is a reduction. This copper transferred 
two electrons as you see so it passes from outside from anode to cathode but from inside is the opposite so the reaction here we have two types of reaction we have oxidation and reduction the oxidation reaction at anode it could be expressed by the following equation what is the equation here? Zn0, it will losing, it will be Zn positive 2 plus 2 electrons. After that, you have the reduction reaction at the cathode, could expressed by the following equation. We have Cu positive 2 plus 2 electron, that gaining electron here that happened to make reduction, forming what? Forming precipitation of copper solid. It's copper, red copper that found here in this equation. The reaction between the two halves depending on Zn for the oxidation, couple for the reduction. After that, the full electric current between the two halves of the cell is stopped. When all zinc metal dissolves in zinc half. Oh can be zinc dissolves do you think that yes how can do that by losing electrons here the reaction in the galvanic cell contains any two elements it's what represented by the following diagram we have the diagram here between the two halves of this cell it will be what zn0 per zn positive 2 all of them equal for the other side per 2 Couple positive 2 will be cover 0, oxidation and reduction. We have here, this is what, this is the lines that found between these symbols here. These symbols, it may have what, number 1 or the first line, it means zinc plate or zinc atoms dissolve in the zinc sulfate. And between them, we have parallel line that represents what? represent the solder bridge between the two halves of the cell and the last one we have the one line between the copper and the copper positive 2 it means the copper plate dipped inside the copper sulfate positive 2 this explanation for the reaction between the two halves I ask, what is the salt bridge? Salt bridge directly we say it's very important. What is the importance of its galvanic cell? That we must learn it. Salt bridge that join between the two halves. Say a look. So here the salt bridge is U-shaped glass tube. It is the definition of this salt bridge. Filled with salt solution, an ACL or an A2SO4 or any type of salt. Here, but by which its ions don't react with the ions of the two halves as well as we have with the electrode materials. So, so the reaction here different from NaCl and differ from oxidation and reduction because the other depending on zinc and the copper. But after that, the importance of salt bridge can be as a steps. As a beginning for the first one, it's connect between the two halves of cells now without allowing a direct contact between them it's very important to know that to allow transferring of the electron from the couple to zinc from inside what after that here number two it's neutralized both the positive and negative ions which forms number one the solution of two halves of the cell so here the neutralization between them it makes what reaction between both of the two halves positive and negative ions that forms in the solution of the two halves of the cell galvanic cell look at this you have anode and the cathode this is the zinc look at this through the anode and the cathode the reaction here is start to be occurred as a beginning from the anode you see the particles of the zinc, what happened? Yes, but in ACL, as you see, this is in the salt bridge. We have also volts to tell me what about the electricity that produced through this reaction. Let's see. Here, the first half ZN changed it into 
positive ions of Zn in the aqua solution and Zn here it means what it means erosion of the of the plate and we have the second half we have Cu positive to gaining electron to make what to make copper atoms or precipitation of the copper so one of them it's eroded or consumed and the other one it's accumulate some kind of atoms of the copper here so the salt bridge here between them it makes what it makes the connection between the two halves to produce the electric energy and the electric energy here is not stronger enough because it depending on the motion of the electron from the anode to the cathode outside over all the action Zn will be lose two electrons to be Zn positive 2 and the other will gain electron Cu two electrons will be Cu0 now we have the measurement of electrode potential what's meant by electrode potential and the function of this part let's go to see electric potential it means the scientists have agreed to use the standard hydrogen electrode it means SHE as a standard electrode by knowing its potential it means equal zero volt what this mean this we will learn here we have the galvanic cell that contains what contains salt bridge two halves one of them is copper and the other one is hydrogen electrode hydrochloric acid dilute and we have a platin or platine sheet that found in hydrogen electrode so here the hydrogen electrode here it makes what it makes the reaction between the hydrogen and the platinum to make what to make the connection of electrons or connection of this type of what of the electric energy so here this is the galvanic cell and one of them it's the electrode what about this electrode again this electrode it means you must add different salts as you see to tell you what the reaction inside as a potassium nitrate when it's added and the other part to contain the copper sulfate as you see and try to calculate the time look and see what is the reaction inside hydrogen electrode when it's connected and the reading here by ampere is changed you must know the oxidizing reaction that happen in anode equation for this about this thing in the other one the reduction is occurred for the other one hydrogen gain electrons will be positive now what is the potential difference between them between them we have the potential difference here we have many things that happened between the hydrogen and the platinum so the hydrogen positive one that dissolve or dipped in the platinum platinum dipped in the in the hydrogen and when the part copper immersed in one mole of the copper solution it makes what it makes this with the hydrogen electrode it makes this reaction so the hydrogen electrode give us zero why because here this is the standard hydrogen electrode oxidation reaction that happened here h2 change it into h positive and what and we have two electrons that move out or lost by the hydrogen and here we have the important reaction between oxidation and reduction this important reaction backing to losing and gaining electrons from the two halves also this is look like exactly as galvanic cell take care the equation between two halves one for anode and the other for the cathode the reading of the volt depending on Zn, Zn positive losing electron, Cu gaining electron. Here we have another thing about standard hydrogen electrode SHE. It consists of? Consists of the first one, the platinum sheet PT. This is a sample of platinum, one centimeter squared, covered by a layer of block a spongy platinum. It's good. This not only, but we have... We have a flow, number two, a flow of hydrogen gas at constant pressure of one atmosphere. Remember this very well. It's one atmosphere pressure of the hydrogen gas. And we have another part. We say the hydrogen depending on its standard. So, number three, strong acid of one mole concentrated in which the platinum sheet is dipped inside t 
sticker we need this acid to start reaction what else here the standard hydrogen electrode SHE represented by the following diagram we have here each one of these cells we have a diagram of each one before this and after this PT plus H1 atmosphere it's what it is dipped inside to H positive one it means it dipped inside the strong acid so here this is the diagram of the hydrogen electrode so here we have a little exercise or a small exercise about the missing words about redox reaction what are the missing words about this and the first one in the redox reaction one substance is reduced and one substance is do you think what is the answer oxidized or loosed what so, do you say so here we have this is oxidized so the second one we have oxidation and the reduction always takes place at what at the same time or different times i think you have a good answer to say at the same time it's good what about oxidation means the addition of a space or loose of electron oxygen or hydrogen oxidation means the addition of oxygen it comes out from its name oxidation it's increasing oxygen what about the letter to b we have reduction means the loss of oxygen or the space which one of them gain or lose the electrons so i think reduction it means gain electrons it's good but if an atom gain electron it becomes what ion positive or negative this is what this is negative ion if the ion if the atom gains the electron change into negative ion but if an atom lose or gain electrons it becomes a positive ion it positive it means loses electrons so there is big difference between them but when magnesium react with oxygen magnesium is oxidized or reduced and the oxygen is reduced you have a good answer so here we have oxidized and the oxygen is reduced number four b we have about magnesium it's what lose or gain electrons from positive magnesium ion directly we say loses why because it's a positive one but this not all the oxygen gain electrons to form positive or negative oxygen ion so here we have negative ion because we have the keyword here it's gaining electrons to form negative oxygen ions good oxidation and reduction followed by losing and gaining so oxidation it had the other one is called it's called increasing of oxygen Ox or reducing mm. agent what about the reduction we have reducing agent so reduction oxidizing agent it's great and wonderful dear friends i hope to enjoy your time with us it's a very interesting part about our curriculum today till we meet again thank you and goodbye everybody good and i want to say start well because we need to work all time the work is very important no chemistry without working see you and goodbye